Be honest, when it comes to gift giving, some are better at it than others. Yes, and some people are easier to buy for than yeah. others, too. We've all been there. What to get that hard to shop for person or coworker for an office party? Well, this morning, help me hang. Hank Winchester has some help for you for your holiday shopping. The holiday season is here. It's time to do that shopping and put those gifts under the tree. But before you hit the mall, we have some important gift giving etiquette from the experts. Struggling to think of the perfect gift? Well, let's start with some ideas for the special person in your life. We talked with Stephanie Steinberg. She's the managing editor at Scene Magazine. She says all the trends are pointing local. We're all about shopping local. So we love supporting local boutiques, local stores. Um, there's a whole lot of options going that route. So you don't have to go to the internet to go searching on Amazon to find a great gift that supports local. For women? The gifts that give back, um, meaning the companies either help employees in some way or maybe the product gives back. So um, one of my favorites is Rebel Nell. I love, um, it's, a, it's a jewelry company, and they basically hire disadvantaged women, and they give them a job, and they make these beautiful necklaces, earrings, bracelets out of fallen graffiti. For men? A luggage set that has a plug-in, so if they're on the go and they need to charge their phone or any electronics, you know, they can easily do that while they're waiting at the airport. And for kids. I really love this gift set uh, of books, and it's all the classical books, and you can wrap it with the child's name, so it's personalized. And for anyone trying to have an experience rather than receiving something tangible. Like massages. I know my husband is really excited. He asked for a massage this year. So, you know, you can go a little outside the box, too. And what about those holiday parties that require a gift to exchange, like a white elephant party? In the office, we often do a white elephant, certainly for the holidays. Um, we get together and do white elephant gifts. Some people make it funny, and others try and make it the best one they can give. We've all been there. You wrap something up thoughtful and fun. Like scratch ones, maybe. <laughs> but you get back something not so great. Oh, I actually got uh, like a 10 inch matches one time. Um, I got a coffee cup that was supposed to be for coffee, but it was made out of plastic, so it didn't work so well. A can of soup, I think I got one year. We talked to the experts who say there's some etiquette that goes along with doing a white elephant gift exchange. First, make sure the host shares the rules. Are the gifts supposed to be funny or something everybody truly wants? If it's all about the fun, then make sure everybody knows that. You have a good sense of humor. That's the etiquette, right? Be able to laugh. What's the price limit? Ask questions if you don't know. If you don't want to wrap up a gag gift, try to include a $10 gift card to a local coffee shop. Also, know your audience. What's funny to your friends may not be funny to your grandparents or to a coworker. I would go with things that people like, right? Like, usually wine is a safe bet, um, if it's a man or a woman. Gift cards are also very safe, right? Like a gift card to a local restaurant or a local shop. You know, again, supporting local is always great this time of year. And we have more expert advice for you. Everything you need to know will be right there on the Help Me Hank page at clickondetroit.com. I'm Hank Winchester. Help me, Hank. I like the good supporting local theme. It's yeah. good. For the white elephant, I remember one time we did it here, and one of, she doesn't work here anymore, but she brought a used candle. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, what? What's wrong with that? I know, exactly. And a Red Bull. <laughs> so.